Peanut butter is included as an ingredient in many recipes. Peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, peanut butter cookies, and candies where peanut is the main flavor, such as Reese's Pieces, are various peanut butter and chocolate treats, such as Reese's Peanut Butter Cups and the Crispy Crunch Candy Bar. Peanut butter's flavor combines well with other flavors, such as oatmeal, cheese, cured meats, savory sauces, and various types of breads and crackers. The creamy or crunchy, fatty, salty taste pairs very well with complementary soft and sweet ingredients like fruit preserves, bananas, apples, and honey. The taste can also be enhanced by similarly salty things like bacon, especially if the peanut butter has added sweetness. One snack for children is called ants on a log with a celery stick acting as the log. The groove in the celery stick is filled with peanut butter and raisins arranged in a row along the top are ants. Plumpeanut is a peanut butter-based food used to fight malnutrition in famine-stricken countries. A single pack contains 500 calories, can be stored unrefrigerated for two years, and requires no cooking or preparation. Peanut butter inside a hollow chew toy is a method to occupy a dog with a favored treat. A common outdoor bird feeder is a coating of peanut butter on a pine cone with an overlying layer of birdseed. Peanut butter is a food paste or spread made from ground, dry roasted peanuts. It commonly contains additional ingredients that modify the taste or texture, such as salt, sweeteners, or emulsifiers. Peanut butter is consumed in many countries. The United States is a leading exporter of peanut butter and one of the largest consumers of peanut butter annually per capita. January 24 is National Peanut Butter Day in the United States. Peanut butter is a nutrient-rich food containing high levels of protein, several vitamins, and dietary minerals. It is typically served as a spread on bread, toast, or crackers, and used to make sandwiches. It is also used in a number of breakfast dishes and desserts, such as granola, smoothies, crepes, cookies, brownies, or croissants. It is similar to other nut butters such as cashew butter and almond butter. The earliest references to peanut butter can be traced to Aztec civilization, who ground roasted peanuts into a paste. However, several people can be credited with the invention of modern peanut butter and the processes involved in making it. The U.S. National Peanut Board credits three modern inventors with the earliest patents related to the production of modern peanut butter. Marcellus Gilmore Edson of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, obtained the first patent for a method of producing peanut butter from roasted peanuts using heated surfaces in 1884. Edson's cooled product had a consistency like that of butter, lard, or ointment, according to his patent application which described a process of milling roasted peanuts until the peanuts reached a fluid or semi-fluid state. He mixed sugar into the paste to harden its consistency. A businessman from St. Louis named George Bale produced and sold peanut butter in the form of a snack food in 1894. By 1917, American consumers used peanut products during periods of meat rationing, with government promotions of Meatless Mondays, when peanut butter was a favored choice. John Harvey Kellogg, known for his line of prepared breakfast cereals, was an advocate of using plant foods as a healthier dietary choice than meat. He was issued a patent for a process of producing alimentary products, in 1898, and used peanuts, although he boiled the peanuts rather than roasting them. Kellogg's Western Health Reform Institute served peanut butter to patients because they needed a food that contained a lot of protein that could be eaten without chewing. At first, peanut butter was a food for wealthy people, as it became popular initially as a product served at expensive health care institutes. Although often credited with its invention, George Washington Carver did not invent peanut butter. By the time Carver published his document about peanuts, entitled, How to Grow the Peanut and 105 Ways of Preparing it for Human Consumption, in 1916, many methods of preparation of peanut butter had already been developed or patented by various pharmacists, doctors, and food scientists working in the U.S. and Canada. Early peanut butter making machines were developed by Joseph Lambert, who had worked at John Harvey Kellogg's Battle Creek Sanatorium, and Dr. Ambrose Straub who obtained a patent for a peanut butter making machine in 1903. In 1922, chemist Joseph Rosefield invented a process for making smooth peanut butter that kept the oil from separating by using partially hydrogenated oil. Rosefield licensed his invention to the company that created Peter Pan peanut butter in 1928 and in .1932 he began producing his own peanut butter under the name Skippy. Under the Skippy brand, 
Rosefield developed a new method of churning creamy peanut butter, giving it a smoother consistency. He also mixed fragments of peanut into peanut butter, creating the first, chunky, style peanut butter. In 1955, Procter & Gamble launched a peanut butter named Jif, which was sweeter than other brands, due to the use of sugar and molasses in its recipe. A slang term for peanut butter in World War II was monkey butter. In South Africa, one of the countries where peanut butter is produced and consumed, the first peanut butter was produced in 1926 by Alderton Limited in Mokopane, then called Potgetersris, presumably under the brand name Black Cat. The product proved so popular that Tiger Brands, then Tiger Oats Company, took over the manufacture of Black Cat. The company still produces peanut butter under the brand name Black Cat. In Afrikaans, Grand Buntchibotter, peanut butter, is also colloquially called Katjibotter, kitten butter, it is undetermined if Black Cat is the basis for the latter name. A related dish named Pindakay's peanut cheese existed in Suriname by 1783. This was more solid than modern peanut butter, and could be cut and served in slices like cheese. Pinda Bravo, a soup-like peanut-based dish, also existed in Suriname around that time. Modern peanut butter is still referred to as, Pindakaz, peanut cheese, in Dutch for this reason, Suriname having been a Dutch colony at that time. When peanut butter was brought onto the market in the Netherlands by Calvé in 1948, it was not allowed to do so under the name, peanut butter. The name, butter, was specifically defined for real butter, to avoid confusion with margarine. For people with a peanut allergy, peanut butter can cause a variety of possible allergic reactions, including life-threatening anaphylaxis. According to John Krampner's 2013 book on peanut butter, per capita consumption of peanut butter in Canada and the Netherlands, the largest consumer per capita in Europe, exceeded that in the United States. In March 2020 during the COVID-19 pandemic, Retail sales of peanut butter in the United States increased by 75% over the level in March 2019.